Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Varun here with us who's recently got into Bank of America as a full-time employee and he's here to share his interview experience with us. Now let's go and look at the eligibility criteria. So all computer science and circuit branches were eligible and 60% in all over along with no standing areas. Okay. Hi Varun, welcome to my channel. Firstly, congratulations on your placement. Um, would you like to introduce yourself Thank first? You. Uh, yes, uh, I all, uh, uh, my name is Varun Patel. I am a final year VTEC student at VIT Chennai. Currently pursuing computer science and engineering. And uh, I got placed at uh, Bank of America. Okay, okay, that's great. Um, now, would you like to share the hiring process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of? Yep, so this was the second time Bank of America came to our campus. Okay. I missed out on the first time because I, I think I didn't fill the form entirely on okay. their uh, portal. Okay. So I, I just didn't care much about uh, at that point. But uh, in January it came back again and uh, this time I filled out the form and I was notified about the uh, uh, hiring process. So first round was our online assessment. It was. Bank of America uh, does its online assessment on uh, the Hire View platform. It's a virtual assessment. Okay. There are two coding questions and three virtual video answer questions. Mm -hmm. so they'll just display questions and you'll have to speak in speak within a stipulated time period. Okay. So uh, two coding questions are uh, basic questions. Uh, one on uh, one on numerical one on numbers and one on strings. Okay. After that, uh, we had uh, after that uh, basic questions like uh, three questions like why would you think you are a good fit for the role and uh, where do you see yourself after joining uh, okay. our company or in the future? Okay. So that was that. Uh, they they would uh, receive our answers and we would uh, get the uh, responses uh, about the next round. Mm -hmm. So after that, there were two uh, interview rounds. Okay. Uh, face to face interview rounds. First one was a technical interview round. Okay. Uh, around half an hour uh, f uh, f uh, per person. Mm -hmm. So technical round, they uh, basically start off with your resume, uh, look at uh, what all projects you have mentioned, what all extracurriculars you have mentioned, and ask me to summarize any one of my projects. Okay. And uh, I mentioned any AML project that I did, and uh, they asked me questions regarding it, uh, what all libraries I use, and etc. What all difficulties are fa I face, etc. Okay. After that, uh, they moved to DSA, mm -hmm. uh, majorly DSA. I studied DBMS because I thought it would be asked. Uh, I had uh, read a few posts on GFG archives of mm -hmm. Bank of America interview mm -hmm. experiences, but DBMS was not uh, asked much. So they moved to DSA, asked me about various uh, data structures like linked list, uh, which was primarily to me, linked okay. list tax queues. Mm -hmm. So basic questions uh, about these should be uh, covered uh, well before the interview. Okay. That was it. And uh, after that, uh, basic questions like uh, why would I be a good fit for the role? Uh, okay. And uh, where do I see, uh, see myself in five years? Strengths and weaknesses, etc. Mm -hmm. And uh, lastly, if I had a question for the interview. Okay. So around half an hour uh, interview process was uh, in this first round. Mm -hmm. Uh, this was at around 10.30, so 10.30 to 11 was my first round and I got a mail at around uh, 1.30 okay. that I would have my second round at uh, 2, 2 something. Mm. So the second round was a, uh, was a mixed HR and technical round okay. where uh, they get started with my uh, uh, resume, uh, asked me to describe my project and what all non-technical difficulties I primarily face and mm. how did I deal with, with, with those. Okay. And uh, after I explain that, uh, they move on to my uh, non-technical uh, part of the resume, uh, extracurricular activities and such. And uh, where I had mentioned I was a part of the photography club of VIT Chennai, and I also volunteered in the TEDx VIT Chennai events. Okay. So there they asked me uh, what was the uh, hiring process and stuff, and how did I get through, and uh, what all things I learned. Okay. So. And that was primarily what they were seeking for, like how would I deal with an unknown situation. Mm. Like uh, they even asked me how would I deal with uh, if they asked me to learn a new software or uh, something like that. Okay. 
to which I answered, I would have to get familiar with the, what it does at first and after that how it does. So that's pretty much it. Okay. And uh, after that, uh, again, uh, why would I be a good fit for the role? Hmm. And uh, where do you see yourself in five years? So okay. I mentioned learning as a key attribute to my career because uh, learning is constant and okay. uh, it should be uh, taken up uh, everywhere we go, not only career wise but uh, other things as well. So that was it, and uh, this was on the 21st of January. Hmm. As okay. the HR rounds, and two days later, we got the mail of the final confirmation. Oh, okay. That was the entire process. Okay, okay. That's great. Uh, yeah, congratulations again. And do you have any suggestions for people who want to get into Bank of America? Uh, yes, so uh, as I mentioned, Geeks for Geeks was a big help, uh, obviously, not only for Bank of America, but for any company, mm. any other company placement for them. Mm. Uh, and uh, thoroughly, uh, uh, basic uh, concepts like uh, DSA, DBMS, mm. Are a must and uh, proper grasp of these concepts on a particular programming language, preferably Java C or C is all, also uh, highly important. Which mm. Geeks for Geeks and a few other websites provide uh, very sufficiently. And going through these is all is always important. So okay. That's uh, that's what you should be uh, aware of. And also the projects mentioned in your resume are should be thoroughly gone through by you. Okay. To set so. Mm-hmm. That's great. That's pretty much it. And staying confident in the interview. That's it. Okay. Okay. That's great. Uh, thank you for sharing your experience. And yeah, thank you.